So let me tell you what I am going to do in the next couple of minutes. I am going to explain to you what Nelson Chimisa did wrong and why the game is over. I am also going to explain to you what Emerson Mnangagwa did right and why the game is over. But over and above both, it's neither Emerson or Nelson Chimisa who has deaded the game. It's actually a different group altogether. A very different group altogether. And it's not even you. Let me give a preamble. There is a tendency that when we disagree on a map, on social media, the choice and tool of attack is we now must hate each other. It doesn't really matter to me. Because when I see you, you want a picture. The truth of the matter is you're not going to hate Zenopia for power. You're not going to love Triple C into power. That's not how power works. Power is power. The issue that's at hand is the election was not appropriately conducted in a manner that would have produced a result that can be accepted by the stakeholders of the election. That is the issue, correct? If this is the issue, the Constitutional Court of Zimbabwe is there to address particularly that. The good thing is Advocate Nelson Chimisa, Advocate Tapani Mpofu, Advocate Tenai Biti are all lawyers. So they are very clear how that works. I will prove to you that they know that the election was not stolen. I want to prove it to you. Let me tell you how. If the election was stolen, like they say, first, what is supposed to have happened is they would have gone before the Constitutional Court within seven days of the election, which is what the rules, court rules of the Constitutional Court state. They would have gone before the court within seven days to file a petition. In this petition, they would have had 14 days for the case to be argued and for the court to make a determination whether the election must be run or not run. Again, their argument for not going before the court is that the court is compromised and maybe the judges are not going to be fair, they're not going to give them a fair hearing. Then, that's interesting because you're all before the same judges every single day of your professional careers and you get fair decisions. What an unkind and unfair statement to make that the same bench you sit stand in front of when you represent cases that you win many times, Advocate Abani Mpofu, many times Advocate Tendai Beatty, the same bench you're in front of. Now they're not all of a sudden not a very fit bench to listen to an election case. No, you knew the truth. You knew. But that's not the issue neither for me. The issue is not that you knew. I will tell you what the issue is. The issue is you are alone. He's already out of the game, really. The issue is Nelson Chimisa is by himself. Nelson Chimisa is alienated by the so-called political party, Triple C. And I'll tell you why. Emerson Mnangagwa is not alienated because all his soldiers, all his front is pushing and advancing forward to get into government. In fact, he's in New York right now, talking English. Here's the problem. Nelson Chimisa is alienated. He's loved on social media, but alienated in his political party. When the results were done, the same MPs who won and are now wearing new shoes, I don't think I'm pushing him room, but go, go. Could I end the parliament? I don't think I am being one. Ring my team, the one I got to know, Mazi, he take what tokos and cook. Could have been in parliament. It's a done deal. The moment they all agree to get into parliament, because as soon as you get into parliament, you know what you get first? You get your per diem allowance. You start filling in your papers whether you want to get the standard vehicle that they're going to be giving you in terms of a car or you're going to upgrade and put top up your own money to bring the type of car that you want into the country, 90% of the people going into parliament coming from triple C, passport. And all of a sudden, you're about to get your name on a nod of a bow to go to New York to the General Assembly. You're now in committees which allow you to travel, which allow you to see the world. Now, by the default fact that they did that, they did it the game. Nelson Chimisa say done simply because the MPs they, the, David Coulthard endorsed the election. 
give to Stalos who endorsed the election. Fadzaima here endorsed the election. The moment you go to yourself walking into that parliament, you endorsed the elections. The moment you swore an oath into parliament, you endorsed the election. This election has now been endorsed by every single player from the other side. There is not a single player from the other side who is denouncing the election. For most of the MPs from Triple C, this is the first employment they have ever heard. They've never had, they've never had any other job. This is job number one. They deaded the selection. There is absolutely nothing Sadak can do. Eventually, Sadak must go. Zimbabwe is an independent, voluntary party and contributor to the Sadak organization. They don't have to be obliged by the standards of Sadak. In fact, they can set, change, or review them. Am I endorsing President Emerson? doesn't matter. You think what I endorse? Matters? You really think what AC Lumumba endorses matters? Crazy. I'm just trying to make you understand. Give you perspective and insight of the truth. And the truth is, where do we go from here? If that question was being asked by those from St. Pierre, they go to state house. If that question was being asked by the unemployed youth from MDC, sorry, Triple C, they go to Parliament. If that question was being asked by Wakad Kumabi, and that's the last time they're buying from a bureau, you got to visit. Come on. The reality of the matter is everybody goes back to their lives. Okay? Everybody's got to go back to their lives. You have to go back to your life. You have to go back to your life, yeah. right? You got to go back to your life, buddy. Yeah. Got to go back to your life because the game is over. Yeah, tell me. Could you beat that game? Quit moving head like... Please. I rest my case. Everybody goes back to playing the same game that they were playing before. I got to go and play that game where we bump our heads like this. And we got to push. Push, push. It's game over, ladies and gentlemen. There is absolutely nothing. The show, is, the show is done. It's a wrap. Yeah. Everybody go I'm home. I'm sorry. I'll go home. Sorry, you have to go away. Everybody, you have to.